Crowds of residents in Mekele, the Tigrayan capital, have rushed to see thousands of Ethiopian government soldiers paraded by their captors. A rare look at the dramatic turn of events in the eight-month-old conflict. Of course, as an institution, they are criminals, but we cannot keep these people as a whole. There are more than 6,000 soldiers and officers in detention centers. As prisoners of war, we have to treat them and release them. But if somehow we get some evidence, some clues that Mr. A or this guy has committed, say, murder or has killed or has destroyed this village, we will keep them because they have to go to court. This village, they will keep them because they have to go to court. The Tigrayan leaders rejected a unilateral ceasefire that Ethiopia's government announced as its soldiers retreated from Mekele. They vowed to chase the enemies out of the rest of the Tigray region. After we came here, we healed. We healed after washing and after putting bandages on. There is no stitching up work done here. It may be because of the place, but there is no stitching up here. In addition, there is a shortage of food. We don't eat enough food. And they don't give us the necessary additional medicine like painkillers. Apart from that, they are helping us as much as they can. On Monday, Tigrayan forces said they were pushing south and had recaptured a town from government forces, underscoring their determination to keep fighting until the region's pre-war borders are restored. Conflict erupted in Tigray eight months ago between central government forces and the region's ruling party, the TPLF. 